Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play A Legionary's Life, episode number um, eight, perhaps, maybe seven. Uh, yeah, so we're in this Celtiberian and Carthaginian camps in Hispania. We're ready for our next campaign. Time is of the essence, and your forced march is almost beyond tolerable limits. With the invaluable help of some Celtiberian deserters, you eventually come close to the enemy position. When news of what's ahead of you starts spreading, you learn that there are two enemy camps, one composed of Celtiberian volunteers and the other of Carthaginians. The first one seems to be much less defended and an ideal point of attack, but Solanus wants to play it safe and is preparing more scouting teams. Um, I wish I could remember my stats. Good thing control brings them up. So we have decent awareness, decent intellect, crit. I mean, I, all of our stats are over 50, so from that perspective, I feel like we're safe to scout. I'll volunteer. A Velez named, oh good, so Calvisius and Yorbelez, a Celtiberian guide, will be your scouting team. So we got some increased opinion for this. Yorbelez knows the ground full well and lets you approach the enemy position with minimal risk. When you're very close, you have, a cro you have to cross a stretch of land with poor cover in order to get a better look. Quickness is probably it. Co maybe coordination. Could be endurance. Could be awareness. Let's take the risk. Heart pounding, you try to move as quickly and silent as possible. Ah, uh, so does quickness. And, okay, so it was coordination, and it, it was exactly the three that I was guessing. We may get it safely to the other side. So coordination is pretty good, but a quick quickness could have been better. And without having awareness, and I'd like to actually... I don't think I've ever passed this check, by the way. You carefully commit to memory every detail about the weak links in the defenses of the Celtiberian camp, as well as the best approach path. Judging by the number of tents and what you see, there are less than 10,000 men here. No more than half are Scudiarii, heavy infantrymen. Okay, so it looks like I'm just thinking about the campaign the way it works. Because obviously you can't impact history. You're just, I mean, not only could one man not really impact history, it's very unlikely that one person's, our influence would do anything, but uh, we can't. This is written in stone, so it's kind of an interesting thing. We cannot do things too great to shake history. We can't cause the Romans to lose. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like, oh, our charisma has increased, very good. Um... Their reward system is not that you helped influence the battle, which maybe scouting the camp versus not scouting the camp could actually have an impact. But they don't do it that way. They actually instead have it that the people like you more. Okay. When you are satisfied, you signal the others that you can go back. You are about one mile from camp, so gentle breeze is stirring the vegetation all around you. For a moment, you think you heard something, but it's probably just when we failed to check here. I don't think I've ever passed that check either. And again, I don't know what it really changes. After a while, you reach the valley where the bulk of your army is hidden and report what you have learned. Everything is ready now. It's time to approach the enemy camp and get prepared for the onslaught. <clears throat> okay. So, so far, so good. Um, I don't think we have anything else to do. We have our equipment on. So at this point, if I wanted to, I probably could switch out the caps. Oh, no, I guess we can't. Okay. I guess we're not, when we get back from scouting, we just have to leave right away. The irregular ground offers plenty of cover as your army approaches the Celtiberian camp. You're not very distant when it finally comes into sight. The defenders must have just started pouring out of the camp. They are still too late, but you are expecting a slower reaction. So I keep thinking that maybe this is the awareness check that we failed. The ground is very difficult here, and it's disrupting your formation. Like many others, you become separated from Renipole while passing through a patch of undergrowth. An enemy vanguard reaches you right at this time, and many duels spark off. One of the Celtiberian troops is looking at you, ready to fling his spear. We can either anticipate him with our own spear, or we can defend ourselves. Our defense is good, but our javelin is not. I feel like defending ourselves is the better approach. Once again, your shield saves your life. Okay, so it's 2v2. These guys are pretty heavily... Uh, yeah, they're good. Low endurance, I mean, as in below 50%, very low quickness and bad coordination on this first one, or the second one, actually, but... And the first one has worse skills. This one, I feel like, was more, yeah, definitely closer to 50%. And because its quickness and coordination is very low, I think what we ought to do is focus on the first one. Yeah, I think we'll focus on the first one. 
Although, this one has no armor, so he might be easier to kill. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We'll go with the guy with lower defense, because we'll try this fatigue system. Um, I'll think I'll throw my javelin defensively again. Yeah, slow reaction, not good. And, wow, okay. Well, our buddy's off to a good start, just immediately hitting this guy. We'll sit back and recover. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, they're both at a decent position. I'm trying to see what our hit likelihood is. So not surprisingly, it's much better against the second guy. But frankly, not very good against either. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't feel too threatened here. Like, I feel like we're going to win this, especially because I can kind of play defensively and let my other legionary buddy take some blows. I wish he had gone for this guy, but I guess we wouldn't necessarily have gotten a torso hit with the other one. Although, you know, honestly, this armor, I think it only does like 30%. Where's my character? Yeah, it's only 35% coverage. And it looks like those uh, enemies are using the same. Okay, well, in this case, we don't... I guess our respite chance is very high. And thankfully, it does not is not impacted by who we're targeting. So I think we'll just do respite. Good. Now we have something to go off of. Okay. So let's go for this guy. I don't know if we should just go for the kill. I think we'll go with the faint. I don't think we're going to lose our buddy here. Um, still want to try this faint. So the attack percentage is not very good. Let's do a quick one. Huh. He finally succeeded. Go for it again. <laughs> Try as we might here. There it is. Something. But <laughs> he just gets it all back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I guess, to be expected. Okay, this guy is uh, much easier to land these against. We might even be able to go... Nah, 50% chance. I don't think we'll go for that. We don't want to go too far wide open because this other guy can just attack us, so. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> okay, so he recovered. We're switching back over to this guy. <laughs> Gotta land it. Yes. No. Um, what's our likelihood of... Because it looks like they're all going to recover. <laughs> Since they'll be at just a full recovery cycle, this doesn't seem like a bad opportunity to actually take a swing. That sounds weird, but they're both going to recover, which will give us a free recovery next turn. So I'm actually going to go for it here. Yeah, I think that was the right decision. I mean, not only did we hit if because we hit, but even if we hadn't have. And they both failed their recovery, so I think... I think we go for it again. I mean, I'm... Not confident that we're going to land it, but if we eliminate one of them, we're just going to be in such... Wow. Much better show. Okay, this guy's basically doomed himself now. So... We'll probably just go for the kill. Ah! Alright, we'll go for the recovery. Now, it should be a freebie. It is. Oh my gosh. Everyone's missing, which is good. Uh, yeah, so if we can get this guy out. Oh my gosh, 75% chance we failed again. 
Looks like everyone's just going to recover, so we can recover as well. I think we will. I don't, this is, it does not look, I don't know if this is like a duel to the death. We're not in our mana pool, so it doesn't, I don't know if we'll have a new line rotating in. That's all fine with me, by the way. This is a duel to the death, I would actually, if I knew that, then I would take it, uh, the approach a little bit differently. Okay, that guy's getting a little bit low on fatigue. What's our chances of hitting here? Over 50, I'm going to go for it. Ah! A little bit dangerous. We're fully fully exposed here. I think we can take a hit and keep on ticking, though. So I'm <laughs> Maybe I'll just go a little bit aggressive. Eh, probably wasn't worth it. Alright, alright. Let's go back and recover. But I feel very confident in our defense so far. And he failed his recovery, which is great. All we need to do is make sure he doesn't get another chance to recover. Yeah, our fatigue is actually doing as good as anyone else's. Um, 50% chance. We'll go with the quick faint here. <coughs> okay, we got one down. Good, so now we can kind of play it easy. Um, I mean, this guy's actually in bad shape, so I was gonna say let's recover, but you know what, let's just faint him. It's over. 2v1s, there's almost no chance of him. So I'm actually just going to do... Look, I, this sound, sounds kind of insane, but I, I'm just going to do it... Well, I guess we can do an attack to assure that his he doesn't recover. Yeah, good. Good, we both landed leg blows. Now what I'm going to do is just sit back and respite for a bit. Make sure that we <clears throat> don't take any fatigue into the next fight. Yeah, this guy's just crushing it. We can probably do an attack now. Um, the groin looks pretty tempting. Leg would definitely secure us more fatigue. But I, uh, yeah, okay, let's just do it. So he recovered a little bit, but <laughs> it would be a little bit harder to hit him in the leg now. Maybe just go for the. Uh, let's go for the leg. I was okay with that because he's going to have to recover. We're going to be in a full recovery cycle. That could have been a, a bad thing for us. I don't actually think we need to lower our stat, our um, thing too much. I just don't want to get any morale. Ooh, okay, good. I don't want to do any uh, morale penalty stuff. So we'll just keep... Um, yeah, I think we'll just go for respite here. A little bit defensively. Stupid. <laughs> Trying to keep myself from <laughs> getting to the next tier of fatigue. Just gonna let this happen until we have morale penalties. I mean, honestly, we can probably do it here even. Okay, he's a little bit down. Maybe we'll go for the faint now. Or he's so close to it. No, yeah, he's Was this the better defensive guy? No. Our attack our chances to hit against him are not amazing. Okay. Good. And now I guess we could probably just force him into the, the final tier. Which will probably put us as well over there, but yeah, he's he's actually very fatigued. Okay, so we'll come back and we'll, we'll respite. Try to get back down to that lower tier. And he's dead. Alright, that was good. Your mana pool quickly reforms and prepares to meet a second wave. The Carthaginian Light Infantry is rushing to the aid of the Celtibarians, filling the gaps in their formation. Well, we didn't take any damage, so I'm fe I feel pretty confident about this. As the other side gets closer, we steal ourselves, and we have our second javelin we can toss. Uh, or not, or we'll just immediately start fighting. <laughs> now this is, as far as I know, we're back to the uh, 1v1 with people cycling in and out. 
And this guy <clears throat> has very good defense, unfortunately. I think we'll go for the, the typical thing then. We'll just wait for him to miss, or we'll wait to get... Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Fine by me. We'll sit back and do just respite. We're playing the fatigue game. Um, I might even just sit back and wait for him to hit me because the respite. We have a really good chance of lowering our fatigue here. Still good to me. Good. Ah, bummer. <laughs> hey, respite. All right, good. Now let's try to do something. Very good. Okay, we got two chances in a row. That's also very helpful. 50% Okay, so we could probably do this. My reasoning here is he's going to recover unless there's a double turn thing which goes on. We should have a chance to uh, hit him again or recover. I mean, recover before he can hit us. So let's go for it. And it worked. Okay, so this is... We're right back down to square one. To square one. He's got plenty of fatigue and we can sit back and respite. This seems to be working very well. Um, I don't want to lose any morale just in case it does have an impact on things. What's my morale sitting at? Uh, look at me. Oh, it's very high. Very good. Oh, that's, that makes me happy. Hey, there was just 50% chance. Let's respite. Okay, I'm really glad I did that. We'll do. Uh, we'll take one swing because we we got the we got the respite right. Oh, he got us in the groin. Nine damage. I'm okay with that. I mean, look at. I'd rather not take damage, especially in the groin. <laughs> but but that's just how it goes. <laughs> and I think we're even. We'll just drop back and we'll do respite. Okay, resisted. Now we have a reason to recover. Honestly, yeah, we'll recover. Good. Now he missed. And now the now is our chance, our opening. Yeah, not even a fifty percent chance. So we'll do a feint here. He's almost up to the next level of fatigue. So, oops, missed it. He's not. So he is willing to attack. Now. How do we want to do this? I think we'll still go. It's like almost 70. It's like got to be like a 70% chance. Oh my gosh. Just can't, just can't get it. Uh, we got another attack. So let's... We're about to... It's about to go away. The This fight. So we'll just swing. <laughs> very low percentages there. Man, very low pretty much all over the map. We're, we're fine for the next fight, though. Our fatigue's very low. Okay. So maybe just go for a torso blow. Okay, we'll recover. And there it is. Okay, brief lull. We took a small amount of damage, but I feel like more or less this is fine. From your current position, it's difficult to... Okay, yes, yeah, so it's going to cycle us in. Oh, we got up against an inexperienced Gutiaris, which is much better. Okay, so this one is one that we can definitely... We can take this fight to the ground. By that I mean I don't. I feel pretty comfortable just going ham against this guy. Really just going full on, bringing it all. There it is. Over a seventy-five percent chance to to succeed on this one. Um, I think we'll take one more. He did recover, but I think it still puts us in a good enough position yet to do a leg attack. Ugh! I'm going for it. Got it. Okay, so now we'll recover. Knowing that he's probably going to... swing at us. Okay. He's a little bit... He's still a little bit below... You know what? We might just go defensive and do a little respite here. Okay, we got lucky. 75% chance, basically. It's pretty good. Okay, he recovered. We'll go to respite. 
And basically that was just an opportunity for him to miss. Wow, huge chance, so we're at 50% chance. Okay, we can do this, and if he recovers, we recover. So we're just gonna go for it. He chose not to, but... Like if we try to recover, he gets a freebie, so I think we'll go for a feint. It's a little bit weird. Things are devolving in this. My you my uh, normal <laughs> scenario is not playing out as I expected. <laughs> yeah, that's way too low. So let's just do... You know what? This is weird. I'm going to do respite. Okay, I'll do recovery next. He gets a freebie. He attacks the torso. He misses, and now the... Advantage is ours. It's like an 80% chance. We can't be, <laughs> cannot be failing that. Alright, let's go for this leg attack now. There we go. That was fantastic. Okay, so he's fatigued. Let's go for the groin. Or, nah, let's, we'll go for the groin. Might be able to get this guy in time. Alright, this is it. Oh god, one more try. He did recover, so I think we'll just go for the torso attack. For the win! Yes! <laughs> Eventually the enemy formation starts breaking apart very soon. Panic spreads. By the way, that was... Uh, I want to mention this. I think that we got very lucky with those rolls. So I'm, this is compensating for what I was assuming was bad luck in the beginning. Very soon panic spreads and their wavering turns into a rout. So, as much as we've had some bad luck in some cases... That, I don't think, was it. What remains of the enemy scatters before your advance. Good, so, and the best thing is we're in definitely within the range where we won't take extra morale penalties um, at the camp. Your army occupies the first camp and captures Hanno himself. Meanwhile, the Carthaginians have left the other base, withdrawing to the safety of their cities in the west. It may look like a small victory, but your early intervention prevented a far greater danger from arising. So we get even higher morale. Boy, I don't know if my morale has ever been this high, but I'm really focusing on it now, assuming that it has a pretty big impact on the, the campaign. Hey! Only by two. Sword, shield, and javelin increased by two. Okay, your deeds have taken your skills one step further, so I guess we got an additional one for doing something else. In recognition of your efforts and achievements, you have been promoted to Tessararius. All right, this... This is a, a truly successful character now. We're back to this training thing. Um, yeah, this is. I think this is really good. So, give me one second here, though. Let me just see. I hope this is the right button. Oh, I'm really loving this new pause feature in OBS Studio. <laughs> Had to blow my nose. Okay, so here we are. <coughs> Sorry about that, times two. Okay, I'm really back this time. Well, we, I, uh, the interesting thing is going to be to see how well we're able to train with people. I still want to focus on shield, even though it's yeah, it's doing pretty good. But I think that not being able to be hit and then counterattacking is still our bread and butter. We do have probably a lot of money as well, 415. So if we're lucky, we can get that up. Let's actually focus on quickness a little bit. And even if we miss, I mean, endurance is really important. The party is walking through a small town when suddenly a stone bounces off your shield with a thump. Someone is having fun using you as target practice. We can either try to catch the culprit, which I'm pretty sure is going to be quickness. Probably a little bit of coordination and awareness. Maybe endurance. Or we can act as if nothing happened. Let's... Uh, what happens if we act like nothing happened? Oh, okay, well, worse things have happened. So let's try to train our coordination endurance. Let's hit the gym. All right, strength and constitution, very good. Let's mix it up. Let's go over here to good. Sword is improved. We're well liked enough to have a good chance. Very good. Oh, this is wonderful. Let's not do it too many times in a row. Let's basically not push my luck. Let's have some fun. Gained, increased, increased. Very good. You are escorting an ambassador of Scipio's to a meeting with a local chef chieftain. The talks are not going well. A palpable tension is growing. Try to help, cut in, or it's not your place, say nothing. We do have pretty good charisma. The thing is, it's not our place 
it's really not our place. So that's what I should choose, but because this is a dice roll game, we're going to try to help. The interpreter is going, you're refusing to translate what you just said, you awkwardly back off, avoiding the ambassador's eyes. Yeah, whatever. I should just knife the interpreter. How dare you, I'm a Tesserarius. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to our workouts. Strength. Oh, oh wow, these, oh, this is happening fast and furious now. Okay, so as we usually like to do, I think, what didn't I, oh, we want to go to the right this time. Avoiding as much of this nonsense as possible. Okay. I'm seeing where we probably ought to go. Okay, yeah, I see it. And up here. Now, there's no way to go through without passing through the mountains, but if we go right here, we can go through just one mountain. Not seeing any resources here either. And then although we could go to um, this one directly, we're going to shift over to the right more. So because we already shifted over to the right, we're just going to go to the far village immediately. And I'm going to go through over here just because I want to see if there's any resources. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a full bag. Really nice. Okay, we can always collect from the people. A girl is walking towards you. You can't hide your surprise when she dresses you in Latin. Okay, we already had this situation. She explains. Um, charisma 59. Look at I think we have the charisma to do it. Uh, okay. Just knife her. I, I guess I shouldn't have very much virtue. My solution to everything is just knife him. <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to be okay on supplies here. Something wrong with this hamlet. They've been observing it for a while and there's not a soul to be seen. We'll go in regardless. Party of Gallic mercenaries receives you as soon as you set foot in the settlement. They've already sacked the place and now they are ready to prey upon you. Okay, we're just gonna go for their leader, a tall guy wearing short chain mail. Yikes. Let's do it. Try to lure him whether he'll be at a disadvantage. Yes. I deflect his blade just in time. I thought this would be a real fight. Okay, it is. <laughs> um, his strength is insane. But everything else is not good. So, defensive. Be defensive. Okay. We probably could have thrown a javelin there because this guy's... Um, yeah, his... Uh, Wow, that's some low abilities. And this guy's very well defended, so we're going to have to go for his... I mean, I already knew from the very beginning. His mail, I believe his mail will actually even protect his legs. Do we see that? No, actually not. And believe it or not, his neck is almost completely vulnerable. Does neck provide fatigue? No, it doesn't. 15 to 35. 15 to 35. I want to see... Attacker stance is reduced by 15 to 35 no matter what. Okay, well let's just do a feint. We know it's going to fail. Good. <clears throat> now we open our... Well, or do we respite? How, how are we doing this? Are we playing the fatigue game? I think we're playing the fatigue game. Well, those are not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, should be even better chances now. How's our ability to attack his leg? Not very good still. Okay, so we want to get him. We're going to play the fatigue game, but we still need to... We need to land something on him to do to actually be able to fatigue him. I feel like this is the right call still. There it is. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Still over 50% chance to succeeding here. 
And he's not very coordinated, so that should happen. Perfect. Okay, we have a 50% chance to attack his leg. I'm going to take it. Got it. And he did recover. Let's move back and use Respite. Good. I think this is going to go well. Um, we just want to lower it enough that... 75% oh, chance. But, no, we had been passing quite a few of those, so... Let's try it again. There it is. Perfect. Legs are a really good chance of hitting now. Got it. Let's go for a leg again. It's 50% chance. I think we'll go for it, because as soon as he starts recovering, we're going to recover as well. So let's just try for it. Okay, two. All right, now we go for the recovery phase. I'm going to stay aggressive for the first recovery because he's not going to swing at me. He's going to recover. And now we have a chance to defend. Let's go to respite. Thankfully, this guy's dumb and did not choose to do respite himself. All right. So we're winning the fatigue battle. That's the good news. This is going to be a, a nice, fun fight. I'm really happy with this one. Okay, let's go for it. I know that these feints are potentially fatigue-inducing. Wow, we went for knock. That's very bold. By the way, what does knock have the... What's the fatigue on knock? It is four. Okay, good. So it's the same as the feint. I was hoping because this guy's fatigue is almost, almost where we can... Yeah, it's too low. Good. Oh, wow, the best situation. So let's get it. Let's hit him in the legs now. Got him. For three damage, oh boy. Come on, buddy. I didn't even know we can hit for that low. How is that possible? I think our weapon <laughs> has a minimum of four. <laughs> How is that possible? Right, because it's times 0.7. So we must have rolled very low and then multiplied that by 0.7 and we get the lowest roll possible. Anyway, he failed his recovery. So we'll just go for his leg again. I think we'll go for it again. Ah. So now we're both going to be in this recovery cycle. For the first one, again, I'm going to recover aggressively-ish. He'll recover and now for this one, I'm going to recover defensively. In fact, we'll go full defensive. And we'll do respite. Oh, wow. He landed a soft spot. It has to be a very, 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 very low percentage. He's fatigued. I'm not. Um, I mean, but even low percentages, the chances of you hitting is just low. It can still happen. <laughs> so as long as we're not getting very, very unlucky, we'll note that as an outlier. And he's just went crazy with, I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah, we have a good chance of hitting the legs, but I think we can land a feint here. Yeah, it's about 40%, so this feint will have a good effect. And that's perfect. So now we can get some swings on his legs. Okay. I think we'll just go for respite. We knew that he'd recover, but I was kind of expecting that. Just doing um, fatigue management here. I think I'm going to sit with this recover. I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to go with the respite. <clears throat> Waiting for that to happen. And now he's going to recover at some point. When he does, that's when we recover. Because it'll give us the... Oops, I don't know why. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, that's going to give us the free recovery that I was just talking about. He's missing feints. We can just sit here and respite. He's almost up to... Okay, we yeah, that took me up to... All that work. <laughs> I just didn't want to go this way because I don't know where the morale meter is at. I really wish there was some way of knowing how defensive or offensive you could be without affecting your own morale. Anyway, 
Uh, what that means is basically we go back into respite, I think. Okay, now we're... Oh, wow, getting very unlucky. We just still go with this. There we go. Now we can go a little bit more aggressive. He's almost up to, like, level 2, which is crazy. I mean, level 3. We're both at level 2 right now, so there's no real disadvantage, there's no real disadvantage for him. I don't know. Maybe I should just sit and respite. Yeah, let's play the fatigue game. Let's play the long game. Even though we're down to 50% health. Okay, we were waiting for that. Let's go defensive. Okay. Now he's up to the next tier. So now we can be a little bit less... I mean, we can be a little bit more reckless. <laughs> we can, If we get lucky, though, we can actually drop down, I think, to the next below that. Hmm... So recovery is, I think, one. Okay. Let's uh, let's stop playing with our food here. I think we're gonna have to start swinging at some point. So what's my morale at? Still good, but we don't want to lose all of it here. The thing is, taking a hit is like minus is like minus five morale when we recover back at the camp. I, I think I could have done this one a little bit better. I'm like kind of not exactly sure how I'm doing this. Okay, let's just take the respite. Wow, got all the way back down. So we should have a huge advantage now. I know it sounds crazy, but <laughs> what if we charge him? <laughs> no! Okay, he failed his recovery, so we can at least go back and faint. Or, what, what's our chance to hit right now? 50%. I think that we should do this, because his coordination is so bad that we should hit him. 275% chance has failed! No! Why? Why? Well, that's not terrible. That's, you know, what I mean, it could happen. It's just not very likely. 1 in 16 chance, like 5%. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's not... It's, 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 this is just wrong. This is just wrong. 1 over 4 to 3rd power, 1 over 64. So we're looking at like a 1.5% chance of that happening. Okay, it's a 1.5% chance of it happening. It could happen, but I feel like it happens a little bit too often. Dare we? I only did it because I wanted to see it fail again. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so let's go for the leg. Four damage, not a whole lot. There we go. All right, he started the recovery cycle. 50%, let's go for it. Good. He's almost dead now. Still, um, we're gonna go ahead and recover. And respite. Probably didn't need to do that. Okay, that was weird, but... Okay, he's completely winded. They don't even have a notification for how winded he is. Exhausted and suffers severe. What's my character say? Fatigued. Small penalty. Okay, yeah, so we should just take him out. Again, as I already said, stop playing with your food. Uh, let's do a normal faint. Yeah, this is looks this looks great. It's 
percentages are very good. So he should be failing a lot now. Um, we really don't need to worry about going for the legs. We can go for almost anything and kill him. I think we'll go for the arm. Higher percentage chance. And there it is. My morale was plus five. Plus we got short chain. Oh my gosh, we got really, really, really good armor. Wear. Amazing. And this might be better than what we're wearing right now. <clears throat> People were saying I should just take the penalty. Um, the two awareness penalty. I think I will at this point. We're getting far enough that... So this was absolutely worth it. We can get Virtue up here. And I think we... We'll leave half. Okay, because we I knew that we didn't need very much. So let's just go down to this other village. Uh, assuming we don't find something else on the way. No. Collect here. A frail old man approaches you. He's crying and pleading, although he can't understand. you can't understand most of the foreign words he speaks. His intention is quite obvious. If you take their precious supplies, he and many of the people won't make it through the next months. It will take only a reasonable share of supplies. Ah, but my virtue. So unfortunately that did leave us a little bit short on supplies. <laughs> this is what I get. So we do need to find supplies. I'm seeing like no resources. Oh, yes, please. Oh, we did it. There's hope. This was a weird little mini game that they put into this game, you know? This feels like this is like its own game. <laughs> You've completed it. Yay. Now the big thing. Do we gain intelligence? Awareness. Intellect. Yes. <laughs> so that was really important. Now, uh, unfortunately, we still have this uh, minor problem of healing that will take away a lot of our morale that we just worked for. But in the meantime, what is it that our character really needs? Well, I'll tell you what we need. We probably need to put a cut in the video here. So I think I'll do that. Um, well, yeah, I think we should focus on quickness a little bit more. I mean, you can't go wrong with strength and coordination. So we'll also probably think about doing that. More hit point strength, I'm assuming, it modifies the damage. And if we can do more hit point damage, we do more fatigue damage, we win. So for now, thanks for watching. Until the next episode, take care.